how to create a new ad account on Facebook Business Manager. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create your brand new ad account on your Facebook Business Manager because it's really difficult to manage ad spends and manage your ad campaigns. And creating a new ad account can help you in visually seeing where your money is going and setting up ads to your preferences. So let's get started. For this, you will need your business account on Facebook. So you have to have your Meta Business Suite, which you can easily access for any Facebook page or business page that you are running on Facebook. And I'm just going to open up my page over here. Now, once you do that, you can click on all tools on the left panel over here. And once you click on all tools on the left menu bar, you will see all of these sections, but you will see over here in your advertising section, you have your Facebook ad manager. So you're going to click on the ad manager over here, and this will open up your Facebook ad manager. Now, once you open up your Facebook ad manager, you're going to click on settings on the bottom. And once you click on settings on the bottom left, you are going to see on the left you have your accounts so in your business portfolio info this will display users and then below that you have accounts and under accounts if you open this up you will have your ad accounts you're going to click on ad accounts over here you guys can see this is my current ad account but all you have to do to create a new one is to click on add over here and once you do that you will be able to create a new facebook ad account now there is a limit to how many ad accounts you can build for every business portfolio you have so for example i have this account over here i can go into my ad accounts and then click on add over here you guys can see for one ad account you can only create one you will have to ensure that you are following facebook's rules and regulations after that, you're able to create or claim more ad accounts after several weeks of following policy. Now, another way that you can, um, if you are looking to instantly add a ad account, you can request to share an ad account. So you can add another ad account from another business portfolio. So if you want to share an ad account with one of your other business portfolios, you can do that as well. For every type of business portfolio you have, by default, when you activate ads, when you are running ads, you will have one ad account created for you. And you can choose to, you know, reset that ad account. That's just up to your personal preferences on how you want to proceed. So let's say I have this particular ad account. I can deactivate it. So I can completely deactivate it. This will stop all of my current campaigns. This would pause any type of advertisement uh, ad budget that is going towards Facebook. And what I can do is that once I have deactivated this, I can click on add. And once this has been removed from my Facebook business manager, I can go on ahead and then add a new one. You will see this takes approximately three working days for you to verify the closure. You guys will see that um, you will have your ad account name, payment methods, and what it is used for. You can alter this as well. Now, if you want to create a separate business portfolio altogether to create your new ad account, you can do that a bit more easily if you're looking for instant access. So you can click on your click on the top left settings tab. And I only have one Facebook account, but three different portfolios. Click on create a business portfolio and name your portfolio. Let's say this is going to be a second version of my business portfolio. And after that, we are going to put in our Gmail and then just click on create. And now you will see currently I have created three portfolios already, so I can't create a new one, but you can create a new business portfolio and link and you know use the same name and link your new ad account to the shared ad account on your original one it's a really uh simple process it's really not as difficult as most people assume 
But one thing to note is that Facebook currently is, you know, at limit with a lot of these tools. A lot of the tools with the Meta Business Suite are pretty hidden. They're not actually as available as you would assume they would be to you. So a lot of the settings, a lot of the um, important things that you can use are actually pretty hidden. So you have to access your ad center separately and you have to access your business manager separately. So that is just a little bit of a hassle that Facebook currently does have. Now, what does your ad manager actually even look like once you have your ad account? Well, this is what your ad manager is going to look like. So I'll just open up this ad account and in your ad manager, you have to provide a payment info. Once you have your payment info provided, you can then start running ad campaigns. Now, you can build several different campaigns, create several different strategies, as well as do A-B testing with Facebook ads. There is a lot of customization that can be done. And all of this is going to help you in ensuring that your campaigns are delivered in a way that makes sure that your campaigns yield results because with Facebook, you're going to get a lot of insights on your ads as well. How much reach you are getting, how many people that are viewing and clicking, how many people are not clicking, how much money you are spending on the number of impressions that you are getting, the frequency by which they are coming. So you have a really nice uh, ad manager with Facebook and it can be a great tool to use, especially when you're trying to get more leads, when you're trying to drum up more business. Facebook is definitely the place to do so. Now, another really important thing to note is that the number of Facebook pages you have is also going to impact your uh, effectiveness with running campaigns. You guys can see if I have this page and I have like five other pages, I will need different ad accounts for all of those pages. So for that purpose, um, creating a shared ad account for multiple businesses can be, you know, a bit easier for certain people to manage. Whereas if you are working with larger businesses, if you have well-established businesses, then you're not going to be wanting to share ad accounts within your business. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.